Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at the Sandbox, generating a new experience. I'm going to be creating my own game within the Sandbox's Game Maker, and I'm going to be publishing it, ready for you to be able to play it as well, see if you can complete it. I'm building an obstacle course, and I'll be, if you're familiar with playing Roblox, you'll notice these are very, very popular on there. And this one's going through two stages. So we've got a lava pool that you're trying to avoid throughout the whole course. And if you fall in, you've got to go back to the start. And them, them's the rules. Uh, this time I wanted to do things a little bit differently to show a little bit more about what this software is capable of. So here we're going into the components where you can actually interact with the ob objects and get them to do certain things when you interact with them. So here I'm just changing the text to display when I go near them to display uh, automatically when viewing it. And then we go on to the second part of the course where we're making things a little bit more difficult increasing the the gaps between the jumps i did these coins which were meant to be collectible but i had to take them out because they didn't work in the end that's not their fault that's my fault i didn't know how to do that but i'll probably try and learn for next time here we have a bunch of squirrels these are the guys that we're saving at the end of the race from a mystery monster we'll stick around to find out what that will be so here we are now then we go into my obstacle course this is the first one i made with showing the coins didn't work I, they didn't work the way i wanted them to i wanted them to be collectible in the way but i'll figure out how to do that for the next one perhaps so we see the chronicler hello good luck on this obby be sure not to fall in the lava if you fall in the lava you will die this is my first attempt it's not my first attempt i fell in the lava a lot of times but here we go. So like any good obby, you're going to have some platforms separated where you've got to make these careful jumps and not over jump, under jump. Otherwise, you will fall in the lava. The second section, a little bit harder, make it a little bit more difficult. And at the end of it all, I said there would be a mystery enemy <laughs> that we'd have to face. So we have all the squirrels. And here we can see, congratulations, you completed this obby. Well done. You roll. Well done. Oh, my God. You did amazing. I'm a squirrel. And then we got the mummies behind them. Death to squirrels, get them. That squirrel stole my wife. So these, I wanted these to be an enemy that you could attack. But mummies are just standing objects. Uh, but there are so many other assets within the game that, uh, as we saw in the first one, I think I came up against pirates. So I just ended up swiping endlessly at these mummies. Um, yeah, they, they really felt it. Yeah, this is the game maker and what you can do with it in its editor mode. As you can see, you've got a bunch of assets. They're just the, the quick assets, the quick go-tos. But you bring that tab up and you'll see there's loads of different ones that you can add to make your own game. I just think this game allows you to create any genre within it. We've seen a huge batch of, you know, big IPs coming in and making their own games as well, which we're going to take a look at in a minute. Two more. The one based, oh, we saw two last time. We're going to see two different ones this time. And you can see they've got, you can add components. There's many more on top of the speaker one. So there's, there's loads of ways you can add complexity to the games that you're building beyond what I've built. And you then have the ability to share your experience. You can share the experience by clicking the paper airplane, or if you click the globe, that will publish your experience. So if you go on to the gallery, uh, the templates, you will actually be able to see mine published. Now, coming soon, you will be able to publish your experience to your piece of land. So that would be your NFT land that you own in the sand. Uh, ecosystem and that's going to be the big i think there's going to be a big update so here we can see my editing in my experience even a nice picture of a squirrel save the squirrels i'll be so if we go to the map now this is what i'm talking about these are the the, the the land parcels that some of these have been bought as we can see the big ips on their board ape we've got axie infinity we have uh time magazine wow and then here some of the events that they've already held with some Big name, Snoop Dogg, Paris. And here's two of the games that they already have. And I, yeah, so that's what I was going for, the coins. So you can make it work within within the sandbox. Uh, so you can actually play Tony Hawk's sandbox coming soon. And then FaZe Clan have created a squid game-like um, game where you actually progress in a Battle Royale-esque way. To far cry from, from what my experience is. But 
But check it out and have a go. Play around with it. Create your own game. Publish them. Let me know if you have down in the comment section below. But you can go check mine out now. And what's more, there's a whole host of games that you can play in the drafts gallery. So if you rank it by highest rated, you'll get probably some of the best ones. So let's check out the Care Bears maze that was created by somebody. And it tells you when they were created, what rating it gets uh, in the ranking system. Five out of five stars. And so here we have a maze, which has a, a kind of similar in terms of obvious but obviously a little bit more complex and it runs like a maze you're making your way through completing tasks here we have actually interacting and fighting with enemies all in aim to save the pink bear at the end of this maze so there's loads more on there as well that you can check out but I think we'll leave it there for today's episode hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have please leave a like on the video hit subscribe if you can update with future content all the links to this will be down in the description below. Go check it out. And a quick reminder, the Sandbox is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in Amazon gift cards or an iPhone for three people. And there'll be 10 runners up that will each receive $50 in gift cards. Download Game Maker using my link and publish an experience to the gallery by using the airplay button. And that's it, you're entered. It takes less than 10 minutes to do. And this will end soon, so don't miss out and start building today. Okay, well that's all for this one. Hopefully see you next time.